That sun is bright, isn't it, boys? We're not used to sun this time of year. It's usually overcast, right? Well, we're off to our vet appointment at noon, and it is 11.56. We gotta get moving. Yes, we do. It's only just down the road, so. You guys excited to go? They're like, no, we are not excited. Okay, let's get going. Let's get going, boys. I don't, I can't even tell it's so sunny out. I can't even tell if I'm videotaping them. All right, so we're headed down to get them checked out. Mozzie's getting his anal glands checked. Milo's getting the bump she felt. I'll show you what gas is here right now in Michigan. Um, get that bump checked that she felt on one of his toes on his back left paw. I'm gonna get that checked out to see if him stopping biting his feet, because he was biting, chewing his back feet. Um, we're wondering if that bump was due to him chewing his feet, or was that why he was chewing his feet? Not sure. So, I, when I gave him a bath yesterday and groomed him, they are both groomed too. Got them groomed yesterday. Um, I didn't feel anything and I can't remember exactly where she said it was so it could still be there and I just don't know where she felt it but she said it was very small but she almost missed it so that could be why I didn't feel it either. So um, anyways so yeah hopefully Mozzie's been acting fine now so his anal glands could have expressed on their own. I don't know. I'm still going to have them check them out. That's one thing I do not do. Um, they say if your dog doesn't have problems with anal glands, their anal glands, you shouldn't express them because they should be able to do it on their own. Because if you do it um, or have your groomer do it all the time, their body won't do it naturally um, is what I've been told. So, um, Mozzie did get groomed some when he was younger. Um, him and Max. Uh, I didn't start grooming the boys until I got Mar Marley. So maybe, I don't know. He's only had them expressed one other time at the vet. So I don't know what was going on with him. So here we are. Just took us a couple minutes. I'm going to get parked here, check in, and then they'll come out and get the boys. They were letting someone go in with them. Um, but because of the spikes in cases, um, they changed that again. So now I've got to call and chuck us in. And look at this, they decorated the little <laughs> things with the, your spot number. All right, I'll be back, guys. Mozzie, was that embarrassing? <laughs> you didn't like getting your poop, poop shoot checked out? <laughs> Oh, they said his anal glands were full. It was a little bit thick, but normal. Um, she suggested having him come in every month and a half or so to get them checked again. Yeah. You didn't like your poop shoot messed with, did you? <laughs> like, get me out of here. Where's Milo? Get me out of here. <laughs> we still got to wait for Milo. Yes, we do. So I thought you guys might be interested in how much my vet bill was. Um, I'm very surprised at how much Apoquil costs now. When I used to get it for my boys, it was like 60, it was between 60, $65 for 30 pills, which is expensive anyways. But now, let me find it here on my bill. Now, it's $74, whoops, $74.36 for 30 pills. I've got to find out if I can get that at a, a regular pharmacy cheaper. So if any of you guys give your dogs Apoquil, can you get the Apoquil, say like at Sam's Club or Walmart Pharmacy? I'm not sure if you can or not. Uh, so I need to find out because that's just crazy because Max is taking it right now. And Milo. Must be a squirrel outside. 
So I've got two dogs taking it. <laughs> I need a I need to find out if I can get it cheaper somewhere else. Let me go see what's going on out here. I've got my grooming stuff set up out here. I don't think I'm grooming anyone today. Oh yeah, look at Grant's a squirrel hunter now too. Yes, he is. He never used to bark really at anything until he got that toe taken off. There's a squirrel under there. never come to the door and bark now he comes he greets us he barks just like the other boys he's just a totally different dog since that bad toe was taken off um okay so excuse the barking in the background um so with the apoquel i got 12 uh heart guards because they have a deal going on right now if you get the 12 heart guards you get a rebate i got miggy's dog food that he needs to eat so and then milo got um blood work done since he's having his teeth cleaned next week they rechecked his uh that bump which is going away uh i thought it was on his toe but she said it's kind of on the webbing between two toes um she told me where to look for it so i can keep an eye on it but she said she felt the bump on the bottom and the top now she only feels it on the top so she thinks that bump was just caused from him uh, biting on his feet. So that's going away, so that's good news. Um, I already said Mozzie got his anal uh, glands were full, so those got expressed. So so all that combined ended up costing me $330.38. Yippee. <laughs> Yippee. Yippee skippy, but you got food for a little bit. I still have food for him, but I like to always have extra on hand just in case um, something happens. Uh, say the supply chain, a uh, bunch of truckers get sick and, and people can't deliver things. Um, I always like to have a month's extra. So I'm stocked for just in case reasons. Grant, Grant. Were you barking at that squirrel, Grant? His uh, foot's really healed good. His hair's still short on that side uh, where they shaved him down really good. So it looks funny with that short hair, but it's he's doing great. He's doing great. And I forgot to, um, someone commented yesterday on yesterday's video that um, they don't remember me telling you uh, what the biopsy results were so it's on my phone so i'm recording on my phone right now so let me get on my phone and write down what it was called the type of cancer he had um and i'll be right back so this is the um type of cancer that was on grant's toe i just wrote it down because i'm not even going to try to pronounce that first word <laughs> So that's what he has. Um, it is a type of cancer that has a lower tendency to spread to the rest of the body. And in the uh, biopsy report, it said the surgical lines where they took the toe off were clean. So he really thinks there's a good chance that it was all contained and that it shouldn't spread anywhere else on the body. So um, I'm very hopeful and and praying every day that that will do it and he'll be fine from here on out. The The doctor was very um, happy with the biopsy report. So, so that is the type of cancer he had and I apologize. I posted it on my Facebook page, Schnauzer Mom Facebook page. And then I must have totally forgot to um, keep all of you who don't follow that page in the loop and let you guys know what he had. I, I apologize. Um, um, I thought I had mentioned it. I guess I did not. So there you go. That is what the cancer was that was on his toe. So yeah. So did you guys notice my pile of disposable masks here? <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, we figured we might as well get some because who knows how long we're going to be having to wear these masks. Um, so I found some, uh, a 50 pack of disposable Christmas masks on Amazon. So I thought we might as well be festive this month and wear some Christmas masks. And then I just got some plain black ones. Uh, and this was a hundred pack for, I think like $12. Um, so my husband can take some to his office and um, then just some regular plain old blue ones. So I can give some to my son too to throw in his car. My daughter throws some in her. We keep them all. We keep a stack of them in our cars. We also have washable ones too. But for the rare occasion, you forget to grab a mask, which, well, it's not rare. It's a lot of the time. <laughs> you forget to grab one. You have a stash of them in your glove compartment box. So, yeah. So, anyways, all right. I'm going to go grab the giveaway um, so I can share with you guys how to enter and what you can win. I'll be right back. Okay, before I share the giveaway uh, prizes, I want to say thank you so much to Jill um, in England uh, for sending me this cross stitch she did of this beautiful schnauzer. I thank you so much, and I'm so happy you enjoy our channel. Um, I'm definitely going to frame this and put it away with some of my stash I have so when my daughter moves out and I can set up my grooming room in her uh, bedroom, um, I will have this to hang on the wall in there. So I thank you so much, Jill, for taking the time to cross-stitch cross this for me. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. So, okay, for the giveaway, here are the prizes for the giveaway. First is a clipper set. Um, I was sent this to um, try out, um, but since I have more than one dog, uh, <laughs> I need more. This says professional pet hair clipper, um, but when I looked it up, it's not the price of a professional uh, clipper set. Um, so I didn't want to use it just one time to review it. Um, and then be done with it and not use it. So I thought, I'll just give it away and share with you guys what it comes with. So it comes with a pair of scissors and then one of these steel combs here, which are handy dandy. Uh, and then it comes with the guards here. Um, I don't know if this one, let me take it out real quick. Does it have the lever? Oh, it does have the lever for the, um, to make the, uh, blade go up and down. Now you never want to see how high that is. You never want your clipper down like this. You will have a bald schnauzer. <laughs> so if you use these at home, uh, care clippers, these, um, grooming sets that you can get, say at Walmart, Target, places like that, you never want the clip, the blade that low. You're always going to want to use it at least this high um, and I don't even know how short that would be test it out on an indiscreet spot maybe on the belly area somewhere under there to see um, how high that is uh, to see if you want to just keep it like that with my uh, professional set I don't need to use guards um, I can just use a blade because you can get no different numbers of blades that have the different length of teeth I guess you would call it that way you can just change the blades out with these sets they're uh, different uh, if you want it longer you need to use a guard so I would probably if you win this I would definitely go with um, a guard on the blade first um, of course read the directions and um, see what length try the shorter one first if you want short or if you want it to be longer use one of the longer ones um, to see, uh, start longer and then work your way to a shorter blade to, or shorter guard to see until you get the length you want is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> These are not cordless. This is corded. So, um, so this is the first prize. This is hard to do one handed. I should have set my phone up on a tripod. 
But this is a nice little set, especially if you have one dog to groom. But with seven, you definitely want more of a, even though it says professional, it's not the same. So, But this is a good at-home care clipper set. Okay, and then next is this burrow toy, this hide a squirrel Christmas burrow toy. I found this at TG Maxx. My dogs love these toys. They love them. So I thought your dog would too. So there's that. And then if you remember when I was showing you the schnauzer room, how I decorated it, I had this sign out there. I found this at Meyer last year um, during the after Christmas sales. And they had one left. And I'm like, oh my goodness, I have to get that and put it in the giveaway uh, for this year. So there's this sign here. And then I got a couple ornaments from Bronner's Christmas Wonderland in Frankenmuth, Michigan. Love that place. They do have, I don't know if it's on the box here. They do have a website too. So I have this uh, schnauzer ornament here on the Jingle Bell. And then I have this one here. I bought an extra of this. I didn't think I had it, but I do. So I'm giving it away. This beautiful ornament too. This is glass blown. So, so those are the prizes you can win for this Christmas giveaway. Uh, if you want to be entered, all you have to do is comment down below. Say you'd like to be entered in the giveaway. You do have to be a subscriber and I will be checking this. So make sure you're, you are subscribed to this channel. Um, and then we will just do a random... Uh, we'll pick a random winner out of the comments and anybody can enter. I don't care where you live. Anybody can enter. So for this giveaway, but you've got to be a subscriber. So, and we will be checking. <laughs> so I'm going to announce the winner on December 15th. That way I can hopefully get the package to you before Christmas. So, so Get those comments down below. You've got, what is today? Today's the second. So you have what? Um, really 12 days because I'm going to announce the winner on the 15th. So you have really till through December 14th to get your comment in if you'd like to be honored for this prize. So, all right, guys, I'm going to get going. Thank you again, Jill, for the beautiful cross stitch. And we will talk to you guys again in the next video. Bye-bye.